All right, guys, part two, Cancers. Um, okay, so when we left off, we were talking about the Page of Swords clarified by the Death card. You know, and I'm just really feeling like a really sudden and deep transformation, Cancer, at the end of the month of like, you know, I'm leaving this behind. I'm done. I'm walking away. This no longer serves me. It's time for me to go. My presence here is no longer needed. You get the gist. Yeah, so... Now, now that card leads into our next card. Absolutely. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So let's quickly get into that. Let's quickly get into that. It says, it is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made that have an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is the life in which you free yourself from trauma of past lives. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them, and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it is also important to acknowledge how they have served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small caused by a soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice would have served you by keeping you safe. In order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It is time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. Yeah. So you're moving on from something, Cancer. You're releasing, you know, this is a contract that, you know, the contract has been up, but you're still just playing out the patterns of the story. And it's like the story has already been over. So it's like that's not benefiting you. It's hindering you. So, um... Let's go to deep replenishment. Yes, it says the most selfless thing you can do is to fill up your own inner well. When we are running around half filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. So this month is a big month for healing for like everyone I've done so far has gotten like that same deep replenishment card or that five of pentacles which tells me that like a lot of people are shedding like lower vibrational patterns energies and beliefs um which is guilt shame um like unworthiness um you know lack of wholesome love or you know lack of discipline lack of consistency i don't know whatever they are for you cancer they're being released this month um nothing can grow in barren lands you are no good to anyone if you're running on empty the feminine is bountiful fertile and rich tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies if your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. So super big spiritual regimes, spiritual disciplines. Take it seriously this month in May. It's going to affect you more than ever. Okay, so really tap in. Um, your meditation, your guided meditations, your cleansings, your spiritual baths, your yoga, your affirmations, your vision boards, whatever it is, okay? If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. What nourishes you? What refills your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile? Overspilling with life. It may be gardening, arranging flowers, getting a massage, using, using luxurious essential oils, snuggling up on the couch, hiking, sipping a good coffee at your favorite cafe, attending a women's circle, reading about sacred sites, spontaneous bike rides, walking along the beach or yin yoga. 
Okay, so basically saying that you need to really focus on pouring into yourself this month in May because it's, a lot of people are going to be feeling drained. Um, especially if you have no spiritual discipline, um, spiritual routine discipline. You know, you're going to really, people are really going to be feeling drained this month in May because the energy is so strong, potent, and powerful that your body will be feeling every little bit. So, get ready. Okay, the last one is Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. Seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, was an ancient mystic who dedicated her life to laying the foundations for Christ consciousness, consciousness to be woven through all of life. She's not widely known, but Without her, Christ consciousness would not be rising as it is today. Anna represents the quiet dedication that is sometimes required to live a life of service. To be of service. Such a Virgo trait, like the Virgin Mary and her mother, okay? To be of service. Um, she represents the generations that came before that devoted their lives to dreaming a new world into being while knowing that they would not see the glorious end result. <gasps> it's okay though. She represents the dutiful soldier, the unconditional mother, and the mystic who can see the thread that is woven through all of life. Anna teaches us that we all have a part to play in the divine plan. It doesn't have to be on the world stage to be significant. One person's part is not worthier than another. One person's part may be to mother their children. Huh? Another's may be to gather women in circle each month. And actually, I want to start doing that. So, excellent thing to come up right now. No part is better or worse, more important or less significant. We each have within us a seed of light that we incarnated to share. Anna is gathering all us to remember and surrender to our part of the plan. Do your part. Do your big one is the word. Okay, so we have safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home like I said. For a lot of you, you are going through a change, a transition. You're leaving one thing behind and you're going into another. You could be moving in with somebody. You could be moving out of state. You could be moving out of the country. You could be changing your job. You could be... So many things could be happening here, but it's talking about wherever you're going, wherever you're being called to, wherever you're going, you will be safe. This is a safe place for you to travel to and you do not need to worry or fear the unknown okay so this is like you know you gotta just you gotta do your thing you gotta do your thing you can't be afraid you have to leap the universe will catch you you know we don't want to turn into a pillar of salt like they say in the bible if you stay stuck for too long you'll turn into a pillar of salt we're not doing that <laughs> okay we have harmony as I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. So I feel like you're just in a very harmonious vibration this month in May, Cancer. I just feel like everything is flowing. You don't really have to force anything. You're really, really, really um, very cleanly acclimated to filling up your reserves in your spiritual bank account, which is... Filling up your spiritual bank account is basically, you know, the good deeds that you do, the good energy that you put out to the universe, to the world, when you give without wanting anything in return. That is your spiritual bank account. When you fill that spiritual bank account up, you just are in the flow of give and take, of receive and, you know, give. And that's what you want. You want that energy to keep being there. So you have to always fill up your spiritual bank account. I don't know where that conversation came from, but there it is. Oh, oh, the harmony card. Yes. So you're in harmony with this energy. So really good. Last but not least, <laughs> we have love. 
yeah you're getting love this month cancer i'm so happy for the lover girls okay one time for the lover girls shout out to all my lover girls a month filled with 